Hi, this is Julie at Love's Beginning with a message called Observe the Trickery. You teach happiness through happiness. Others teach you happiness through happiness. If there seems to be no happiness around, become willing to see happiness as the true and essential nature of all you call other. Then you will find it in yourself. In this way, you look past the shiny surface of fake happiness that ego manufactures in aggression. You look past the unreal to what is real. In this way, you save time. Ego will present a loud happiness that is a facsimile. It's just an announcement of the satisfaction in getting what one believes one wants. It's temporary. Joy is eternal and is the essential nature of all. Don't allow yourself to get distracted by ego's facsimile. When you look upon something that seems to have made another one happy, and yet you do not feel happy, this is a blessing. It is not the surface of anything that makes anyone happy. It is the core, what is at the very center of our shared being. This is the root of eternal happiness, and this is yours already. Temporary happiness is just a fleeting, flickering illusion. Comparing bodies that present as happy to bodies that present as unhappy is a mistake. Ask to see what is shining equally behind all the bodies, and there is the eternal joy already possessed by all. Whenever you feel unhappiness, you are simply denying what is already here. Become willing to recognize what is actually here now, and here is your happiness. Sometimes an image will appear in front of you. It will seem to say, I have this and you don't. Don't be fooled by this surface. You only see it because you have sprayed fear upon the essential nature of that one, and now you are looking upon the fear instead of their essential nature. That is why you don't feel good. It never feels good to look upon meaningless fear spray and ignore the essential nature shining underneath, no matter how positive that fear surface looks. Fear surfaces can look pretty or ugly. They are relative to each other. That is their nature. That is how they work. When you believe they are real, they keep you in that back and forth state. When you can see that all of them are false, you are here in the stillness. Ego is very tricky. It shows you surfaces that look very, very positive and very, very negative. Be swayed by neither. Simply ask to see that which is equally true of both. The light is shining behind all surfaces. Keep your focus here in the depth and you are able to share the joy that belongs to all equally right now, regardless of perceived circumstances. <clears throat> okay, so at this point, I started hearing the song, The Never-Ending Story. So I've included the video with the lyrics. I find it deepens and reinforces the message. The answer to the never-ending story is shining behind its surface. If we don't stop to judge the story, we can look to the light behind it. So I'm, I will include the, uh, the video link in the description and the lyrics. <clears throat> okay, and there's a little bit more here. You don't have to force yourself to act in opposition to an egoic thought that you have not released yet. Simply keep looking at the thought and allow it to dissolve. In other words, look to the light as a useful and helpful directive in remembering what you have used judgment to cover up. But along the way, when you do run into one of those judgments, stop and see it. Stop and consciously give it to the light that shines behind it so it can dissolve. As you stop to do this, the light your spiritual eye can see gets brighter and brighter. As it gets brighter, you begin to trust it as yourself. We shine here. You shine here. With your willingness, anything that blocks this sight dissolves. Thanks for listening.